Yeah. Neil and Alan, the original uh, two guys, they were just college roommates, and they were like, oh, you play drums? Oh, you play accordion? Let's start a band. Band got together in, uh, in Illinois. I grew up in Chicago. I was trying to find a guitar player and a bass player for my band, so I put uh, flyers all over town, and I called it the Musician's Referral Service. It was kind of an altruistic thing. I was going to find homes for musicians that were looking for bands, and I was going to help bands that were looking for musicians. It sounded like a really good idea, and meanwhile, I'd get the cream of the crop for myself. After about a, a couple of weeks, I realized that everybody was calling in with these ridiculous stories about how good they were, and I had no way of screening them, and after about three weeks, I was like, I'm so over this. So I get a phone call one day, and of course, here's a guy. Oh yeah, I, I got a rock band. We got one album out. We got a record deal with Epic Records. We're we're touring all over the Midwest. We're gonna go. We're gonna be opening for Black Oak, Arkansas, on this tour coming up. We're looking for a singer. Tell me the name of your band, or I can't help you. So, guy goes, "What's well, Ario Speedwagon?" I'm like, "You know what, buddy? I got just the singer for you." The 80s were, it was, it was insane. The High Fidelity record, that was our 11th album. We had been touring for years. The record company was always just about to drop us, you know, so we were always like hanging on by a thread. But at that time, man, everybody's relationships were falling apart and all of our home lives were, were gone. High Infidelity, hello. We, we're gonna give this one more shot. I literally woke up in the middle of the night and and I heard that little piano intro. It just sounded like some sappy piano song in my head. The next day I went into rehearsal. It was a lonely afternoon for me at, at the piano. Finally Richrath grabbed a Les Paul guitar and plugged into this giant stack of Marshall amps and just rocking like big sound. And as soon as I heard that, I was like, I jumped up from the piano. I'm like, dude. That's perfect, that's exactly what this song needs. And that was kind of the moment where the ballad met the power. I had written the verses for Can't Fight This Feeling years before, and they had always stuck in my mind. I felt they were, it was really heartfelt to me. It was, it was kind of the root of, you know, who I am as a person and, and what I was struggling with. And I just, I felt like, man, if I could finish that song, I think that's the song that, that needs to be on this record. I was blocked. I couldn't figure it out. One day, I, you know, we've, I, I thought, well, maybe I need to write this with someone. And I, uh, long story short, I, I canceled the, the writing session with Eric Carmen. Eric was going to come over. I woke up that morning and I was literally physically sick because I knew I had a right. I, if, you know, it was like a, it was like a bailout to bring to bring in someone else. I knew something inside of me was saying, "You got to do this." All right. Why can't I finish this freaking song? What? So I went back to my lyric book and I realized the opening line of the song was, I can't fight this feeling any longer. I didn't have the chorus yet. And I was like, oh, that's, that's the essence of this song. That's the title of this song. I, didn't, I hadn't realized it. And I was like, that's a horrible freaking song title. This is, this is probably going to ruin this song forever. But it's like, all right, that's the title of the song. And when I came to that realization, 
I, I went downstairs to the piano and I wrote, um, even as I wander, I'm keeping you in sight. For a candle in the window on a cold, dark winter's night. And I'm That music has just stayed with people and uh, become part of their lives, and we like to bring it to them. We've been touring a long time. I like being out there doing it, and I love singing the song. kind of at the right place, the right time. Our music just got into people's hearts and they they want to keep it there.